discharge obviously it just knocks the battery off completely so the whole motor home just got cut off with power yeah sorted engine well it's not going to discharge is it at um, that point because it batteries it not were actually charging them wasn't it just showing the nampage going yeah. in so so did that turns engine off puts power back on beep beep warning light come on me um display panel in adria red triangle warning error oh god and i pressed and it weren't responding and i went oh what have i done now i've not only ever blown my sun control up now i've blown bloody motor home up as well as even when you feel low you can still go even when you feel slow you can still go even when there's no hope you can still go i never answered a no man i still go go this is the sort of day it's been today <sighs> give me that jane <sighs> Look, I've heard you down mine. If you watched this previous vlog, I'm sure you're dying to know the outcome of this saga with the lithium battery because a lot of people are thinking about lithium and there's a lot of misinformation out there as we have learnt. We started into this and didn't know much about them at all and now I've learnt all sorts the hard way. Give me that top up. She's here. She's here with Jim. Plum Jim. Right, nice. This is. So, if you watch this previous vlog, you'll see that I blew up the sun controller from the solar panel. Um, and we are due to go Scotland um, in three days' time, two or three days' time. Which is what started this off, which is why I wanted a lithium because I've been struggling for power. If you watch my previous vlogs, you know about that as well. Just looking for tonic water, and never mind, I'll just drink it neat, I don't care tonight. <laughs> Can't find it. So today has been a really stressful day today. <clears throat> and I've also learnt that a lot of people in the trade, both to electricians and motor home dealers, also don't know anything about lithium either. And we've been given so much different opinions it's been unreal and it yeah i've run around lots of people today I've constantly been on the phone trying to sort it and time so the um, way this day has gone let's rule out the um the sun controller now that's from my solar panel because I, I blew that up yesterday so let's rule that out me concern is i need to now make sure that this lithium battery is charging up because you get a, an app with your battery and it tells you your rate of charge and your rate of discharge and what started it off is when my engine is running my battery's on a massive discharge and then when i turn the engine off it goes back to zero again because i had nothing plugged in in van put engine back on massive discharge and i'm thinking whoa this isn't right how can this be right? I thought my engine was supposed to be charging battery. I've already lost my solar panel. So I need engine to charge it. And I'm thinking it's wearing wrong way around. So I run Michael. I mean, Mike's been brilliant with us. And he went, no, John, we definitely fitted it right way. There are only two wires. It's not, we can't seem to get, get it wrong. And I went, well, it's like it's charging it wrong way around to me. Is it something to do with a split charger? Blah, blah, blah. So I thought I really need to sort this out and sort this out urgent. So then Zoe Bless had rung a, a place up in Sheffield, van converter. Will you please have a look at it? He went, yeah, no problem, bring it, I'll have a look at it. So I took it in. So this is when the conflicting things start. So he has a look at it and says, oh no, he says, um, that charger you've got from Adria won't charge lithium. And I went, yeah, but Applejack Electronics said it can be configured. Nah, he says it can't. He says, uh, you can't have lithium in this van. And I went, all right. He says, that won't charge your battery. And I went, oh, right. He says, your battery's too big. And I went, right. He says, well, he says, that's what's blown your sun controller up. You've got too much voltage through that battery. Says, Look at the size of your battery. That's what's blown your sun controller up. And I thought, well, that makes sense then. Because it is a big battery, so I'm thinking, well, it could be right on that. Maybe the voltage has blown it up. He says, you need a, a Victron. I've heard a Victron before. You need one of these. And I went, yeah, all right. Well, can you fit it, mate? Well, no, I can't fit it for three weeks. I'm really, really busy, which is fine. Uh, but that's what you need. And I went, all right, okay. So I'm supposed to be going up Scotland thinking, is my battery charging? 
started to panic a little bit because I don't want to be stuck up NC500 and completely lose power. So we started ringing around uh, a few more people, didn't they? And everybody's really busy this time of year. So, yeah, a lot of people couldn't deal with it, could they? No. Uh, and then we got in touch with one guy and he said, oh, yes, he says, uh, I can sort that out for you. I can change your charging unit from your Adria and blah, blah, blah. It'll cost you about £1,500. Yeah, it would something like £1,200 uh, plus that. <laughs> yeah. And I went, bloody hell. And I says, well, can you do it straight away? Because we're obviously panicking. He went, no. He says, I'd have to order parts and this and other. And I went, well. Maybe sometime next week. So I'm thinking, well, that's no good. So I started planning. I sort of thought, well, the, my only other option now is to refit my gel batteries back in. Hmm. Hopefully reconfigure it, go back down to my see my bless him, and see if we can get these lead, uh, not lead, these gel batteries refitted back in. And see if we can get some charge um, to last us over Scotland is when we thinking then because I think something's not right here. So then we rung um, the company down Somerset Applejack Electronics. Can they help us? Because they said they could configure this charger. Yeah. And he says yes, we can configure it. And I went, are you sure? Because everybody else is saying you can't. He says no, no, we can. We can order you this part. It'll be two hundred pound. I thought well that's reasonable. Yeah. Until we found out it didn't include fitting. Yeah, and obviously we wanted it fitted. Mm. And obviously they're really busy, so they can't fit it straight away. So I thought, well, I'm not driving now Somerset then, am I? To get this, to get mm. a part that I don't know what, even know what this part is, and then have it fitted when I, they couldn't even give me a date when it were going to be fitted. Mm. So I thought, well, that's out now. So now what am I going to do? Because I'm thinking, this battery's just not charging. So I said, let's uh, try Fogstar. Let's see what this minus 27 amps is. Yeah, because um, it's discharging a rate at 27 amps when the mm. engine's running. So we rung them up, and Fogstar are being brilliant. Yeah, and they are. She were really good on the phone, yeah. And she says, right, open your app up, let's have a look at your, what your app's saying. Mm. So I, she says, right, what's your voltage on your battery? And I went, well, it's showing 13.6. She says, well, then it's charging mm. off your engine. And I went, is it? She went, if it was 12 volt, it wouldn't be charging. If it's 13.6, yeah. then yes, it is charging. She says, open your app up, let's have a look at what your cell yeah. batteries are doing. Yeah, she did, and she looked at individual one, and the world, um, I read the reading, and she says, they're all perfectly normal. It's absolutely fine. Yes, yeah, it's perfectly normal, your battery's mm. charging. Don't worry about the discharge on your battery, that's that's quite normal. Mm. She says, have you tried it on hookup yet? And I went, well, no, not yet, because I only put it in uh, two mm. days ago. She says, I need to try to knock up. She says, and not only that, she says, drive around a bit and check your app and see what your battery's performing like. And I went, yeah, we'll do that. We'll drive, You'll keep mm. app open. She says, turn off the discharge button on your battery um, and then and then start your engine and see what happens. So anyway, I turned the discharge. Obviously, it just knocks the battery off completely, so the whole motor home just got cut off with power. Yeah. Started engine. Well, it's not going to discharge, is it, at um, that point? Because it battery's it not... It were actually charging then, wasn't it? It just showing an ampage going yeah. in. So so I did that, turns engine off, puts power back on. Beep, beep, warning light come on me, um, display panel in Adria. Red triangle warning, error. Uh, and I pressed, and it weren't responding, and I went, whoa, what have I done now? I've not only blown my sun control up, now I've blown bloody motor home up as well as. Mm. I'm thinking, whoa, what have I done here? What have I done? I don't know. Oh, Panic setting. The stress levels was just, oh, God, I couldn't cope with the stress. So what's wrong here, me? It's got to be mm. some, something majorly wrong with this. So I'm, I'm thinking, right, we're going to have to drive all the way down to Burton Water to see Mike and get me, me other batteries mm. put in because I'm like, whoa. What's I can't cope with living in our motor home, as you know, so it's really important. So I turned the engine back off and blah blah blah, and rest around with switches on my app, uh, started again, and then warning light went off, mm. and I got the, the discharge button back on. So now mm. I mean, it, it's coming up as discharging again. Fortunately, I was like, Phew. but that was a bit scary because like, I'm thinking, oh, I've knackered no, this now. Bigger problem here. So, so talking to Fogstar, she says the problem is we're getting this a lot with lithium batteries. She says your lithium battery is built 
to be a straight swap for your gel battery and this is what a lot of people aren't understanding she says you do not need to configure your charger from Adria she says mm. it is charging your battery up she says and a lot of people don't know this she says it, it's, it's designed like for like so you can just swap it straight over she says we sell hundreds of them and she nobody's said, had any problems with she them. She actually says she's had more conversations like this. We're not only ones. Yeah. She says now a lot of auto electricians and dealers don't know enough about the battery or mm. understand the battery because it's so new. Mm. She says so people need to wise up about this system. Because it's such a new thing, isn't it? Uh, technology. Yeah, because I'm, one guy's quoting me 1,500 quid to get it sorted. He says you need a charger to a charger. Oh, I'm thinking, oh, and it would it would just blow my mind with with different people saying different things and I didn't mm. know who were right or were wrong. Anyway, I thought I've decided I'm going to go with Fogstar, their yeah. opinion of it. So she said, take your van for a drive, keep your app up and see what it's doing. So that's what we did that, didn't we? And, and, yeah. and it went from minus 20-odd amps to plus to minus to plus yeah. so it was fluctuating quite a lot so i'm like thinking well it's not a definite discharge then yeah so what we decided to do and uh, plug it in so we're on hook up yeah to, to see, see if it charges on hook up charged up and, and it were really good news it charged up well it started yeah. charging it's not fully charged and i'm like yeah. thinking well that's a relief because if we're up scotland at least we can put it on hook up and, and get it, a charge it went from 46 hours to 49 hours or no, that was, that was a percentage at Bachelor Love. It were on, um, it were on fifty percent, and then it dropped, oh, and then see. it's the percent yeah. that dials a percentage of the battery. Yeah, the charge that's in the battery. Yeah. So yeah, so um, it started charging. It went up to fifty eight. So I wanted it to go up, so, and it did. So that signs to me that it's definitely charging mm. then. So uh, such a relief that that it yeah. was charging. And um, everything seems okay so far. No more warning lights or anything. No, we've not had a warning light. I think so, that warning light came on because you were messing about with so much at once it couldn't actually cope with it. I'm happy vlog this though, eh? but it's just been one of those days today. Yeah. And it's not all. I'm happy, ready for happy. an holiday. Bloody holiday. You've done bloody holiday. Not today, I haven't. Yeah, it's still been fun in a way. <laughs> Sorted out all right in end, isn't it? Yeah. We've we done all this panicking for yeah. now today. This is the thing, we get so stressed, but afterwards we just laugh about it, don't we? We will, eventually. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so, <It's a> margin. <laughs> we will keep you updated on this lithium because this is a new thing. This is part two. Part two. Don't listen to um, everything that everybody says. No. Because a lot of it is bullshit and can i say about that i don't know what to say about that to be honest you're better off working it out for yourself like john has <laughs> i've learned a lot in the last few days i have as well i've learned right lot i probably know more than the motor electricians <laughs> you sure <laughs> i've learned a lot i fixed some controller yeah you did <laughs> anyway onwards and upwards We'll see what happens tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. I have to drink more gin. Yeah, Bye. more gin is needed, <laughs> yeah. I think. Bye.